Simin Behbahani, Iran's national poet. To begin with, can you please introduce yourself? My name is Simin Behbahani, and I am one of Iran's poets, and I have always been in touch with the people of Iran through my poetry. You have been called the lioness of Iran. What are your thoughts about events in Iran today? The lioness of Iran is one of the nicknames that my people have given to me, and I love it that people think of me in this way. And I have written a new poem for the people of Iran, uh, and uh, I will recite it in just a moment. But I would like to see an Iran that has open relations an Iran that lives in peace and with friendship with the rest of the world, and an Iran that gets along with peoples of all kind across the world. You've written a poem, and uh, I'd like to ask you to recite it for us. Yes, I wrote this poem at a time when my nation is in turmoil and crisis, My advice and request from the current government in Iran is for the government to be righteous to its people and to be kind to its people and to be open to the desires and wishes of the Iranian people. And I will now recite my poem. If the flames of anger rise any higher in this land, your name on your tombstone will be covered with dirt. You have become a babbling loudmouth, your insolent ranting, something to joke about. The lies you have found, you have woven together. The rope you have crafted, you will find around your neck. Pride has swollen your head, your faith has grown blind. The elephant that falls will not rise. Stop this extravagance, this reckless throwing of my country to the wind. The grim-faced rising cloud will grovel at the swamp's feet. Stop this screaming, mayhem and bloodshed. Stop doing what makes God's creatures mourn with tears. My curses will not be upon you as in their fulfillment. My enemies' afflictions also cause me pain. You may wish to have me burned or decide to stone me, but in your hand, match or stone will lose their power to harm me. Simin Behbahani, June 2009. I would like to thank uh, Farzane Milani of the University of Virginia and uh, Kave Safa of Memphis University for translating this poem into English. In the past uh, two weeks, we have seen the women of Iran uh, very active uh, in uh, the dissident movement. Uh, Do you have a particular message for the women of Iran? Yes, I would like to thank the women of Iran. They have been impressive, and I wish them the very best. It seems as though uh, President Ahmadinejad uh, will be the president of Iran for another four years. What would be your message to President Ahmadinejad in terms of how he can bring the divided country together? I don't know how Mr. Ahmadinejad will react in the next four years. I hope he will react well. And if I was him, I would resign and I would ask for the people of Iran to vote for me again so that there could be confidence. But I doubt that this will happen. And I have recited a brief poem for Neda Agha Sultan, and I would like to say that here. You are neither dead nor will you die. You will always remain alive. You have an eternal existence. You are the voice of the people of Iran.